Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Nurse Nikki is Learning to Draw. I'm Nurse Nikki and today I'm going to be participating in the gold and green challenge by drawing a toucan. Also, I'm going to be talking about things that help us to be happy. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so here you see I'm drawing the toucan and the reason I chose it is because it had nice big simple shapes. Again, I always tell you guys, um, when you're starting out to draw, the easiest thing to do is to really look at the big shapes that helps you to get the overall feel of what you're drawing. Anyway, so I decided to do this challenge because the colors that were chosen for the challenge, they made me so happy. And, and by the time I got to the end, I was really pleased with what I was able to draw. And I just felt very lighthearted and just elated with how it turned out. And so that made me think, you know, what are some tips that I could share to help you to have a happier life, a better day, hopefully? And these are some of the things that I found. So tip number one, help and be kind to others. I find that when you help other people, you kind of forget about your problems. And so things don't seem as bad as they usually do. And then tip number two, learn to forgive. And the reason you're going to forgive is not necessarily for the other person, but it's for yourself. When you carry around a lot of hatred, it really does bring down your spirit and it actually hurts you more than it hurts the person. I have had times in my past where I'm sitting here angry at the person and I see them across the street just living life to its fullest. So I realize that my anger is only hurting me. It's not hurting them. So anyway, yeah, please learn to forgive. It'll make your day a whole lot better. Live in the present is tip number three. And that one, we all have to learn how to just embrace the life that we have now. Like a lot of us have had things that have happened bad in our lives in the past. Try not to dwell on those things. I know they're hurtful. See if you can get some help to talk those things out, but try to live in the present of what is good for today. What is going good in your life today? And if you're in a situation that is so toxic that you cannot be happy in it, try to see if you can get out. Especially if you're an adult, you do have a choice. Get some help and start on your way to have a happier life. Number four, choose a healthier lifestyle. Studies have proven that actually treating your body better in terms of the way you eat, exercise, getting outside, getting proper sleep, those things actually help us to be happier. I can tell you, I'm a mother of three kids and when I don't get any sleep, I feel like garbage and you can't talk to me. I'm just like, rah, rah, rah. but when I can get my sleep, eat properly, do what I need to do, I feel so much better so energized so that I can take care of my kids, take care of myself and just be happier. So please, if you have things in your life that you think you can change right now, go ahead and do that. Your body, your mind will thank you for it. Okay. And then the last but not least, learn to love yourself and take care of yourself. That is something, especially people who are parents or any kind of caretaker, we don't do such a good job at that sometimes. Sometimes we're so worried about helping our kids, helping um, older parents, helping some other family members, some friends that we forget to take care of ourselves. Please remember to do that. One of the biggest tips they ever tell you, if you've ever been on an airplane, they will tell you, if the oxygen mask drops out of the ceiling, put yours on first before you put on the one for your child or somebody else. And that is because while you're there with lack of oxygen, you can't help anybody else. You have to take care of yourself first before you have the energy or the wherewithal to help somebody else. So just in regular life, it's the same thing. Take care of yourself first and then make sure you get out there and help other people. And that's all I have for you today. And so my toucan should be coming to and end right here. I appreciate you spending your time with me today. I hope I was able to bring some brightness to your day. I really love this challenge. I really love how this picture turned out. If you like what you heard and saw today, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can see when I upload next. And if you haven't decided from this one video that you want to subscribe to this channel, please watch some of my other videos. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.